Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about what's to come in 2021. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to get the two vehicles backed out of the garage and get them warmed up because either one of them have been driven for quite a while. So we'll get them out in the yard. We'll get the uh, get them brought up to temperature and then we're going to go for a little drive in Old Dale. The roads are good today. We're calling for about six to eight inches of snow tonight. So I'm going to get this thing out for a little drive before the roads get too bad. battery's low so we get it on boost and we'll take it for a drive so while we wait for Dale the truck to get some charge on the battery so we can get it backed out of the garage uh, one of the things that you guys will take note is that in the name of this channel you'll notice a slight change did we change the name of the channel no just how we identify ourselves see old car guy is now OCG and the new logo that will be coming out very shortly is going to reflect that. And I think you guys are going to be very impressed with the way that that looks. And we'll start applying that to stickers, t-shirts, hoodies, and whatnot. And uh, it'll be now how you will represent or associate uh, this channel. So for the next little while, you're going to see OCG and in brackets, Old Car Guy. That is something that's going to be new for 2021. And if you didn't see 2020 in review in my last video, I'm going to link that right up here and you guys can go check that out. It's roughly about a 20 minute video, but you won't be disappointed because I do know that there's a lot of channels or a lot of people who have joined this channel recently. Uh, in the last month, I gained 300 subscribers alone. So I'm pretty stoked about that and I'm hoping that my channel will grow and continue to grow throughout 2021 and therefore set a goal of 21,000 subscribers. So I don't know what's going on with this battery charger, but she's freaking out. Anyways, let's see if we can get this thing started. Just like that. truck started and we're out on our little drive another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was what we're going to be doing on the channel in 2021 now there are a couple of things that are still up in the air based on you know the way things are going around the world right now but one thing I do know for sure is that this week I'm going to be ordering EFI for this truck and that will be a multi-part series on getting it installed and all the parts that we've got for it and how seemingly simple it should be to get one of these systems installed on your square body truck. We also want to be able to install cruise control on this truck. This truck doesn't currently have cruise control from the factory but we want to be able to install it. I've already ordered that. It should be here anytime. And that will be something that we will do in as part of a series as well. That way we will have the ultimate cruising machine, something that's got cruise control, already has air, and that we can kind of take on a long drive and not be fatigued by the uh, gas pedal. I have to operate that all the time. So with the EFI, it also should most definitely be better on fuel. Now as far as the old Mopar, the Chrysler Cordoba, there is something that we want to get done with that one as well. 
It too is a factory air conditioned vehicle, but currently none of the guts are in it, so it's not working. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't drive that vehicle very much this summer. Well, because it's a hot old pig to drive and uh, there's no vents in it. So you gotta roll your windows down. It's a loud old drive anywhere you go. So air conditioning and cruise control are a must in that vehicle as well. So that is something that we'll be doing likely later on through the year so that we can get some more drive time on the old Chrysler Cordoba. Now one of the most popular things on my channel, or vehicles I should say, are my two Panther platforms, my 04 and my 03 Mercury Grand Marquis. Now the 04 is basically a daily driver for my wife and I, well, quite frankly I'm having a hard time getting her to relinquish that one to me to do anything with, but as it sits right now, uh, not a thing wrong with it. So you probably won't see a whole lot being done with Grandma. However, Blackjack, the 03, well, we've talked about it before. We're gonna be turboing that car, but with a slight twist. I've not revealed yet what I wanna do with it, but I'm thinking it's gonna be a diesel swap of some sort. Why? Well, because I don't see anything on YouTube yet that shows a motor swap, diesel swap, uh, on one of these Panther platform cars. So that is something that I want to do and I am currently looking for uh, the, the proper diesel that I want to use uh, for that swap. So with the diesel also comes turbo, so we're not getting rid of the whole turbo idea. We will be using that. And my buddy Luke from Coastal Auto Reaction, and I'll leave a link to his channel right up here. You guys can go check him out. He's on his route to 100,000 subscribers. Another fellow Canadian YouTuber who has done me well and is, uh, is uh, hoping to help me reach some goals in 2021. Having said all of that, there's going to be some other things that are going to be, uh, you know, inside the channel that are going to be new. Don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show uh, with my partner in crime, Grant Tommy. And again, I'll leave his link right up here as well as it's in the description box below. And it's an automotive talk show where we're starting season five here this week. So I hope that you can join us for that. If you're not subscribed to Grant's channel, I hope you go over and do so because, well, uh, you'll get notified every time we go live and. He's got a couple of projects that he's working on for 2021 that I think you guys will be interested in as well. As far as the channel, besides the channel name, not much is changing other than the fact that I simply want to cut back on the amount of uploads that I'm currently doing. Right now, and this time last year, we dropped from three uploads a week to two, and right now, we're gonna be dropping back to one. So starting with this episode, we're gonna upload every Friday. And that doesn't mean there's not gonna be other videos because there quite possibly could be. But we're gonna limit it to one video a week. They're gonna be better quality videos and we're going to be adding a little bit of extra production into them. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and uh, appreciate the fact that, yes, I'm only getting one episode of Old Car Guy a week, but it's gonna be a good one. So, I don't know what else 2021 has to offer. We were hoping to be able to do some traveling. Well, that's to be seen. I was also hoping uh, to be able to maybe buy some more project cars. That still may be seen, but we don't know what the future holds. Having, I don't wanna keep saying having said all that because I've already said it a dozen times. At the end of the day, guys, Stay tuned because we've got another special episode coming up on some branding ideas, uh, including the new logo for the channel uh, and what, the, uh, what that means for merchandise. So stay tuned for that. We're going to end out this video with stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel and helping me grow. Let's make our way to 21,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.